हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू अबाउट केयर कैम प्रो ऐप फॉर एंड्रॉइड सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू दैट वॉट इज केयर केयर कैम प्रो app actually is what are its feature and function and after that we'll tell you that how you install on your mobile phone and how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel kear cam app is a app which is used to connect as well as control a cctv camera on your mobile screen it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet the main purpose of this app is used to is is to access the live view of the camera not only the live view of the camera you can see the multiple camera at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera you save the live view of the camera you adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc and you take the back of the of the recorded videos and many more so now let us start that how you installed for that you should open play store and search for care cam care cam pro and here this this is uh, here this is app now just click on the install and click i agree now it is start installing now click open click allow click allow and click agree now here you you should log in and even you can sign up so i just log in with my username and password you can sign up by your own now click next click accept and click continue and here i need to enter enter my password and click sign in here is the interface of the app now first thing you should do when you cl uh, click on the plus button on the top right corner and here you find the option is scan add device add group ap mode so basically i will tell only those option which is which is very important and necessary just so just click and add device and here you should you you should select your camera like in my case i have wifi camera just click on the wifi camera now here you find three option third option is only for that when you already connected to the wifi means you can you somebody else connected your camera with the wifi and you also going to same same wifi then you you should click on the lan search then it will detect automatically okay and the first two connection is very simple pair by qr code basically this is used when you only want to access outside your premises means with by using your data and the next pair by ap connection it is only used if some place have don't have wifi and you simply plug put the camera and you go there and you want to search the record then for that you should click connect by pair by ap connection what it it did basically Uh, camera have a wifi you should connect with that wifi and then connect the camera and uh, see the all the things from there okay so hope you understand basically what the actual difference between the two so i just click by one by one so just click on pair by qr code here that you should here it is like just power on the camera and prep and the press reset button i will show you that how you re uh, reset button just start the camera 
here is the camera and here is the button we simply press put this press this button now the sound prompt it means that it start resetting okay and the light start blinking so here it is written that press the reset button for the 3 to 5 second to reset the device and beep button now just confirm the flash Now just click next step. Just give a location access. Now you should give access locations. Again click QR code. Just click click next step. So there is a need for that. At you should connect with 2.4 gigahertz network only. Okay. So I have both 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. So I connect with my 4 gigahertz network, and I should enter the password of that. Okay. And click done. And click next step. Now, as written, align the QR code towards the lens until you hear the prompt. Okay. So I just you will show the camera. in front of the qr code like seen in the picture now this is the prompt button now click on this prompt sound so just click on i hear the prompt now it it press okay now it can do server now it is connected just put any name over there like front yard and click done now camera is successfully connected just click on the camera and your camera comes live okay the first thing say you should see the multiple screen for that you should click on this for that you should click on the function and just click on this top right corner setting option and go to the device setting and just click on the screen type just click single screen mode and click save now your camera comes single screen okay like this now you see the image now after that i will tell you one option one by one each and every option now just click here first option here hd is written just click on hd fhd when you click on fhd it became more clearer but it take more bandwidth okay and after that starting from the just camera below the just below the camera screen and from the left side first is speaker button just click on that click on that when you do that, that you are able to hear the voice from the, the camera, camera. From the camera. From the camera. just close the speaker and second one is if you want to record the live view of the camera on your mobile phone just click on that here you see that in red color recording start when you again click on the camera recording stop and it will say it will save on your local album now click on the screenshot third button is the screenshot like again it will share in local album okay now here you find the option a bulb like icon just click on that basically is this camera have both 
आई आर एल ई डी एंड फ्लैश लाइट एल ई डी सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टर्न योर वाई फाई एल ई डी ऑन ऑन द नाइट बोर्ड एंड देन यू कैन चेंज द सेटिंग फ्रॉम हेयर ओके जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दी एल ई डी लाइट ऑन एंड हेयर ऑलवेज ऑन वेन यू क्लिक एंड क्लिक सेफ ओके यू कैमरा एल ई डी वी कम ऑन ओके लाइक दिस यू कैन सी द स्क्रीन ओके सो अगेन क्लिक द बल्ब and again just close the button and click okay now light your light flash light will stop and not ir light will enable okay now the fourth option and final option is that the full screen option when you click on that your camera comes in the full screen ओके नाउ वन की अलार्म इज दैट वेन यू क्लिक ऑन दैट इट इज स्टार्ट क्रिएट क्रिएटिंग अलार्म लाइक दैट द स्टॉप इट हेयर इज कैमरा ऑन एंड यू वेन क्लिक वेन यू अगेन क्लिक ऑन दैट यू कैमरा कम कम्स लाइव हेयर इज एम एस फ्लिप ऑप्शन इफ यू इंस्टॉल द कैमरा एंड यू वॉन्ट डू रिवर्स इट देन यू विल शो द इमेज इन दिन इन दिस वे just a mirror image of that and class upright when camera comes in the single in a in a right mode right way okay now the starting from the bottom left ptz option is there if you want to tilt the camera if you want zoom the camera you can control everything from here okay and if you want here the option is call okay just close this option just press call option when you when you do this just here you you are able to just hold and talk hello 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 now you see the voice of the camera and now if someone speak on the camera you can also have a, you are able to hear so that's why it it's give you a two way bi directional talk okay and the third and final option is playback option when you click on the playback option you are able to access the uh recording save on your sd card but i don't have right now sd card so you can check at your end i will tell only the options final option is function when you click on this all the key alarm and the setting is there i i already tell these options now the most important thing is that when you click on the top right corner setting op option you find uh, here is a device id from where everything is you will find okay here you find a shared device if you have account on a care cam pro app and you want to share it then you can share it from here and here the device setting option which is very important you can camera on off of a screen mode you can split the screen here is that option and device microphone you can access the microphone even close the microphone here is the camera you can change the camera hdr is for that you your camera become more clearer and dual light setting and light, light, led light all the things is there okay so if you want to check the device id just go to the scroll down a little here is the sd card option if you want to format it just from here you can choose anything and here should you recording if you want to schedule recording means for example if you if, if you if you think that sunday your camera will not record you can manage all the things from from here schedule recording other is very important option just click on other and here you find the network setting you find that ip address mac address network key all the things from here okay and send the device log device logs basically use when you want when your camera comes offline when somebody access your camera all the things is you can change from here okay so you you can share the here you find a transfer device if if you uh, transfer some device to some other app then for that you have this function okay now just remove the camera and hope how i will explain all the option just remove the camera from this account and try to connect by other way now just click again click on the plus button and click add device and click wifi camera and here pair by ap when you click on pair by ap and just click just click next again you should need to reset so i just i just start resetting the prompt here now camera start resetting
so wait for few second but then let the camera to be restart and give alarm welcome welcome to you now it says welcome to the news now start rotating now after that click next now what you should do you should connect your wi-fi means means camera wi-fi with its name is care ap backslash cross 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 so i just go to the wi-fi option and i need to connect current here is there that care ap just click on that now it start connecting now connect always connect connect only this time and go to the, your app and after connecting you start that camera date and is incorrect do you want to think okay here you see you see that camera is access okay just click on the camera and now your camera is connected to the wi-fi there is no need for for wi-fi and all there is no no need for anything you just simply just connect with the wi-fi camera your camera comes live okay so basically this is use if if some place have don't have wi-fi you simply put the camera and you want to access when you require when you when you require it you need to check recording when you require it so for that you should this ap option and again and if you connect by your ap and and after that you want if you have an internet connection you want to connect it then for that you should click here configure wi-fi when you do this it asks for to connect just connect with the wi-fi and here just enter the password and click connect now again it started connecting like the earlier it, it said it connected now it connected to the server and it comes online now you can access by using a data and even outside the premises okay hope you understand both way and i try to explain each and every thing in the, by this video so just get living room and click done and your camera comes live okay so thanks for watching thank you thank you have a nice day